that was a huge audition. When that uh, paperwork came in uh, for Martin, I had been watching his show. My mom used to let me watch Martin, uh, which was really cool because it was kind of a, not an adult show, but it had some things that maybe not have been for a seven-year-old at the time. Um, but it wasn't terrible. But she let me watch it so I could see the comedy aspect. She thought he was a great actor, somebody to look up to, just like a, a Will Smith and some of these other cats that were on television, you know, who had great presence on TV. Um, when that came in, I was like, oh, I already look like Martin. I got the ears, you know, we said all this stuff. But it was about bringing the character. You get the audition probably for that. I think we got it maybe like a day or two ahead. So I got to like go to school. Then I came home and just like drilled on the lines until it was like the next day when I had to audition. A lot of the time, because I was like six, seven, so my mom would like read over the lines with me because my reading was like, you know, it was seven, eight, six, six, seven year old. We were okay at reading. So we'd go over the scripts and learn the right intonation of how we're gonna say the lines and we work together on that and what I felt and what she felt. Oh, you should hit this, you know, explanation or, or exclamation mark on this word and say it with this type of extra feeling, you know? So we work back and forth and find a happy place until I was comfortable, ready to go into the room. So uh, that came, bam, right away. Showed up uh, on the Universal lot, uh, ready to book, man. They had a couple other kids there one kid, I remember it was a uh, kid vicious. I think he was a rapper at the time, but I think he had like hurt his arm or something. And I was like, oh, it's a rapper here. I was like, he got a hurt arm. I'm not worried about him. And everybody else, I was just looking at around like, I'm about to get this. <laughs> like, it's nothing they could do about this. So I go into the audition. I kill him. What's up? What's up? What's up? You know, killed it. <laughs> um, they loved the audition so much, they were like, all right, hold on. They went and got Martin from downstairs from either rehearsing or wherever he was at and brought him upstairs to my audition to see me do my audition again. So I did it again, killed it. They like, thank you, we left. And like before we got home, they was blowing up my agent. Like, yo, we need him. We got <laughs> Oh man, he just was like sitting there and he just like couldn't help like but look like, is this my son for real? Like <laughs> And it was funny because that was like the thing. He was like, I've never met your mom, but man, you look like my kid. Da, 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 da. Like, and uh, he, was, he was really, really cool, man. I love working with Martin. I got to work with him uh, multiple times now, like two, three times. And he's, he's a great guy. Uh, he called me a few times throughout, the, uh, throughout my life and just check on me, stuff like that, make sure I'm straight. So Martin was, working with him was great. It was a phenomenal script. Uh, whoever wrote that episode, I forget who wrote that episode, but it was a great episode. Um, and it had everybody fooled up until the very end, you know, and that's what the plan was to do. And I think it became so legendary because while people were watching it the first time, that first, they wanted it to be his son. They were in it. They were like, yo, Martin got a son, whoa. And when we spent it on him, uh, at the end, it was such a shock to everybody that I think everybody held on to that episode and they just loved it. And I ended up with a line that just has lasted uh, 25 years or something. I'm sorry I lied to you, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. I think him mimicking me on that part just became a, a staple. I think it was the line that was there, but he, I don't I know, I think he, he was like, don't hit me with the kid stuff. You messed it. I think he added that mimic part, and that's what made it so classic, you know. And if you watch me, actually, I'm trying not to laugh right there when he says it. <laughs> I remember I'm really trying to hold it in right there if you look at that clip. <laughs>